Greetings all. Today I'm doing point of view street photography on a beach. time.
Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, I've got mixed views actually about today. Um, I'm really pleased for the fact that I actually went out and did a bit more street photography, which I was a bit more calm about. And um, the results I got were okay. The bit that I wasn't really impressed with was for the fact, I've put it down somewhere, I've, I've lost it now. <coughs> Is that my new little bit of kit that I used, obviously strapping it to me. Um, and the thing is, I haven't used the. Uh, it's it's not a GoPro. It's a GoPro equivalent, and probably because it was a bit cheaper. Is I didn't have it set right, so it was actually pointing too far upwards, so I couldn't exactly see where I was going properly. But I live and learn, and I think I've sort of got it about right for the next time that I do do a bit of point of view stuff but it, it's a learning curve so you know I do apologize for that one um on to one thing that um I, I did do today which was the uh the padding shot and I wanted to try this purely because I've seen um quite a few of these and they look really really nice when done properly obviously this was just the first attempt and one of the things that um, you do when you're doing um, a, a panning shot is your shutter speed needs to match the speed of the moving object. So if the car is doing, say, 30 miles an hour, then you set your shutter speed at, at 1 30th. If it's at 40 miles an hour, 1 40th, and so on. Um, and that's so obviously you get clarity and you still get the motion blur, which is obviously the whole idea. Um, there was actually four shots that I actually did of four uh, different vehicles going past. Uh, they all came out okay. Um, if anything, I think um, I, I think I was actually too close because by the time that the vehicle actually got in front of me, it took up the whole frame where you obviously you're supposed to get the car in the middle, but it's a learning curve. So I will be doing that again because um, I, did, I, I, I did actually like the results. And the reason I actually chose the one that I did was I don't know whether anybody's actually noticed this, but the guy noticed I was taking photos and smiled as he went past. And I just thought, that's why I'm putting that one in, because it was different. And I thought, yeah, I like that. So, yeah, that was all good fun. That was all good fun. Um, and I've left one image that I took as well, um, which everyone just takes this particular shot when they do street photography. And I, I did this. And so I'm going to leave this one to the end. And then after that, there is a bit of a, a little bit of a tribute. Um, so, yeah. So all in all today, we're in a bad, we're in a bad day. So until the next time, guys, please don't forget, like, subscribe, share as well for me. And I'll see you on the next adventure. See you soon.